Babyface Nelson was one of the most notorious bank robbers in the early 20th century. He started his life in crime at the age of 13. Nelson was sent to jail in 1931 for a bank robbery, but soon escaped from custody. He returned to his criminal activities including robbing banks. In 1934, he participated in robberies with John Dillinger. After Dillinger's death, J. Edgar Hoover announced that Nelson was now public enemy number one. Notorious bank robber and killer Babyface Nelson was born Lester Joseph Gillis in Chicago, Illinois on December 6, 1908. According to some reports, both of his parents were immigrants from Belgium. During his school years, Nelson was known to have a short temper and often got into fights with his classmates. By the age of 13, Nelson had begun his life of crime. He was caught stealing in 1922 and sentenced to St. Charles School for Boys. Over the next few years, he was in and out of juvenile facilities. Nelson eventually earned his nickname Babyface for his young appearance. Nelson was raised to adult prison in 1931 for robbing a bank in Chicago. Sentenced to a year in jail, he escaped from custody while being transported to tried on another bank robbery charged in February 1932. Nelson eventually wound up in California, where he met John Paul Chase. The pair engaged in numerous criminal activities over the next few years. Nelson joined up with legendary criminal John Dillinger in 1934. Nelson almost got caught while he was hiding out in Dillinger's gang in northern Wisconsin. He shot his way out of the situation, killing an FBI agent in the process. During the June robbery of Merchant National Bank in South Bend, Indiana, the police officer was killed by the gang during the crime. On July 22, 1934, Dillinger himself was ambushed and killed by FBI agents outside the Biograph Theater in Chicago. After Dillinger's death, Nelson headed to California with his wife Helen. For a time, he managed to evade capture for several months, but the FBI finally caught up with him in November 27, 1934. He was driving in a stolen car with his wife near Barrington, Illinois, when they were spotted by FBI agents. Nelson tried to drive away and the agents gave chase. He then spotted the car to shoot at the agents. A brief gun battle ensured, which left FBI agent Homer E. Hollis dead, a second agent Samuel P. Colway dead. Nelson was hit by 17 bullets in the standoff on November 28, 1934, the 25-year-old Nelson scrambled to his injuries. His body was left near St. Peter Catholic Cemetery in Illinois. His wife was later sentenced to a year in prison for violating her parole. She had previously pleaded guilty of harboring fugitives.